Number 16, starting with this tone, 1969 Kennedy of Dollar in superb gem condition, graded as MS67 by PCGS. This glorious example displays a pearl gray of verse with splashes of gold and crimson glowing at the lower border. The reverse is slightly more vibrant, offering rich tangerine hues and swaths of emerald, magenta iridescence at the lower right rim. Satiny luster complements this colorful complexion, showcasing truly pristine surfaces throughout. It was sold for $1,200. Number 15. Slightly rainbow toned, was what time with full bands. Graded as MS68 FB by PCGS. According to NGC, this issue is plentiful in mint states through the grade of MS67, but full bands or full torch examples are a small minority of the total number of survivors. The typical 1947S dime is softest struck from heavily worn and blurry dyes. Such dyes were often repolished to remove their erosion lines, and these resulted in a proof like coins having very shallow and partially effaced features. This full torch gem ended up selling for $2317.50 with its buyer's fee. Number 14 here is undated but most likely 2007 presidential dollar struck 30% of center, graded in mean state 66 by NGC. The struck was nicely positioned, with a full face of Jefferson present on obverse. And the full upper body, head and torch of the status of liberty is seen on the reverse. Nearly full mint brilliance displays just a trace of pastel iridescence on their close inspection. Highly lustrous and very attractive, and extremely rare. It was sold for $2,937.50. Number 13. Another error coin, 1943s Lincoln Sands struck on a silver planchet. Graded as AU58 by PCGS, this circulated wartime penny displays incomplete strike due to the blank size difference. Overall eye appeal is very pleasing for a more than half century old penny. It was sold for $5581.25. Number 12, 1952D Roosevelt Time in Mint State 68 with full bands, very attractive specimen. According to NGC, the American economy experienced a full recovery in 1952 from several years of slowed activity, and this reflected in mintage of 1952D dimes. More than doubling from 1951, examples of this date and mint are quite plentiful in mint state, due to the seeming tendency of Denver mint coins to attract more contact marks. Top grade pieces are slightly scarce. Those certified as FT or FB, however, comprise a much larger percentage than for 1952 dimes of the other means. Nevertheless, this toned example ended up selling for $4,950 with buyer's fee. Number 11, here is 1912 Lincoln Cent in Brown PR66 condition. CEC proven superb gem. Outstanding copper brown surfaces exhibit a smooth satiny texture with subtle cobalt blue undertones also making a strong visual impression. Despite the published proof mintage of 2172 pieces, combined population statistics of major certification services suggest that a small number of them survived. This elusive specimen ended up selling for $5581.25. Number 10. This is 1965 Kennedy of Dollar in MS67 plus condition. According to Stax Bowers, a truly outstanding example, notable for its superior preservation and remarkable patina. Fans of the superhero genre might call this two faced specimen as it offers two distinct personalities, personalities on one planchet. The left hemisphere on each side boasts a rich, autumnal iridescence of olive gold, magenta and powder blue color. This toning is dynamic and jewel-like, glowing with various shades as it rotates under the light. It was sold for $9,000. Number 9, 1957, Lincoln Sand in MS67 red condition. This exquisite super gem sports fulsome 
medium orange luster with subtle pastel pink and lilac peripheral highlights. Smooth, inviting, this beautiful 1957 would make an impressive addition to a top-ranked Lincoln Sand collection. It was sold for $8,225. Number 8, 1939 Jefferson Nickel with doubled Monticello. According to Jaime Hernandez from PCGS, there are only three major double dies in the entire circulation strike Jefferson Nickel series. They are 1939 double die reverse, 1943 double die of verse, and 1945 double die reverse. The 1939 double die reverse is the most dramatic of the three. The doubling is most evident on the words five cents, and the doubling is shifted towards the southeast and can be seen with naked eye. The word Monticello is also doubled with doubling shifted towards the east and just barely to the south. This MS67 error nickel was, was bargained for $10,616.62 with buyer's fee. Number 7. 1950 Lincoln sent in MS67 red condition According to NGC, this is another issue that is surprisingly scarce in MS67 red and higher. The typical of Philadelphia mint cents from this period, the 1950 issue is usually well struck, but with a dollar, brick red colors and four cents of the war years and later 1950s. Many survivors also suffer from spotting and light staining. There are no varieties of note, though a few cut die breaks are known. Number 6, here is 1937S Washington Quarter in MS67 plus condition. The 1937S quarters are typically bright and lustrous with some revealing faintly proof-like fields from polishing of the dyes to remove erosion lines and extend their life. 1937 quarters feature a curious anomaly not seen on any other entry in this series. The obverse border was broadened to the extent that it actually touched the date numerals. These must have been done to working dyes individually and most likely performed at the San Francisco Mint's own machine shop. The net result is that while the coins look fairly normal in mint state, worn pieces provide much more durable in circulation. This gem was sold for $12,380.62 with buyer's fee. Number 5, 1967 Kennedy Alf Dollar from Special Mint Set, graded as MS69 Ultra Cameo by NGC. An enchanting specimen with an uncommon degree of feel to device contrast for a Special Mint Set Kennedy Alf Dollar of the 1965 to 1967 era. Untoned silver white surfaces are fully struck, virtually pristine, and a delight to behold. The Special Mint Sets of these years were produced in lay of traditional proof sets, the federal government wrongly blaming numismatists for a nationwide shortage of circulation coins. This SMS half was sold for $12,600. Number 4. Here is attractively toned 1947D Washington quarter dollar in MS68 grade. Both sides have frosty near silver centers and dappled faded denim patina around. Gold to orange border toning forms distinct bands on obverse, while the reverse displays narrow arcs at the upper right and to far lesser extent near the TE of quarter. It was sold for $15,275 in 2013. Number 3. This is 1934 ASP Peace Dollar in MS66 condition. This is a simply outstanding premium gem example in the Peace Dollar series. The softly frosted surfaces are brilliant with full mint luster. The central striking detail is suitable bold for a San Francisco mint Peace Dollar and definition is sharp to full elsewhere. Remarkably smooth with exceptional eye appeal. This coin is nearly pristine. Sold for $26,400. Number 2, 1923 S. Lincoln Sand with exceptional strike and preservation level, graded as MS65 read by PCGS. For the collectors of high quality Lincoln Sands, the opportunity to acquire these boldly struck full red gem 1923 S should not be overlooked. 
The reverse is sharply defined apart from a bit of weakness in the right wheat kernels, and both sides possess outstanding luster in warm medium rose shades. It was sold for $31,200. Number one, here is 1925 D. Lincoln Sentinel 65 red condition. According to Heritage, the 1925D can be obtained with a little patience in MS65 red, but no amount of patience or funding could make the issue collectible in better condition. This radiant copper orange example showcases rose accents and minimal carbon. Strike definition is bold throughout, approaching full in most places. A handful of minute bag marks occur in portrait. It was sold for $31,200. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Have a good one.